Hello all, Carl from Studio in Car, and this is a 911 Carrera T. What car? I may own a Porsche, but I'm not a, a thoroughbred Porsche guy, really, so the Carrera T had escaped me, but it, uh, it's leaving its mark on me, this one. I believe this might be one of the, my favourite 911s that's been in. Really driver-focused, lightweight glass, manual, seven-speed gearbox. It's a bit of kit. Um, this has previously had a system, owner wanted it checked over, he wanted to know if the system was alright and we're doing a few upgrades as well. Uh, the, the system that was in there was installed, lovely, there wasn't, there wasn't really a problem with it, um, it just didn't sound very good. So uh, yeah, we, we've done a number of upgrades. Uh, we're halfway through it, so I'm going to show you uh, certain things that we've done, I'm going to show you certain products that we're using and uh, yeah, let's run through it. All right, we've got a bit of shy effects on today, so don't moan about the music. So yeah, front doors, dead end. The mid-range baffle was already there, printed, and the mid-range was already installed. There was a different mid-base uh, and all it's an AV mid base on a printed baffle. We've taken them out, uh, we've upgraded the baffle, and we'll be adding um, the Hertz Miele ML1650, which I'll show you in a second. The pillars are out at the moment, and the seats are loose for all of our looms, and it's having A pillars built. So they're, they're built, they're actually done, but they'll be going in on Monday. So we'll be using uh, OEM integration in this one. So all of the original CarPlay features, uh, all of the original functionality of the car will all be retained. It will just, it just has a sound system on the back of the OEM system. All right, so there's no functionality lost or anything like that. It all works as you would expect the system to work from stock, just a huge sound upgrade. All of this work as well is completely returnable to standard so you can have this level of system in here and then you can take the system out should you change the car you know if you go for another 911 then sure simple to refit but pretty much any other car when you're using aftermarket kit like this you can make that work in that car as well so you needn't continue buying it on each car that you get you know we can remove them and put them completely back to stock when it comes to resale so yeah this will all function as it would out of the box and then in the back what we'll be doing is we'll be adding our own shelf to the rear so our own enclosure over the top of that JL active sub box they rock in this car they really do and they're much smaller than th than this camera is making it look really it can be quite subtle underneath there so we'll show you that when that's done in the second video trim in these cars is just gorgeous my favorite piece is the clear rear screen stunning piece of kit this so yeah over here is a bit of the kit that's going in there this the Miele Legend mid base pretty notorious mid base this neo magnet and real powerful motor so that stomps in the right location. In the door of the 911, there's plenty of work to be done to, um, to control the energy of that speaker. So we have to do certain things with the door guards, certain things with the interior panel of the door, things like that, because they really can open up. Um, and the 911 door card isn't the best door card around. You know, you, you really do have to treat it well. So yeah, pair of those going in. And uh, we'll be running everything with the awesome Audio control D6.1200. This is a DSP amplifier. Plenty of power to run our three way kit. So 125 watts per driver, which is more than enough. Uh, we can bridge uh, four ohms to 400 watts if we want. And the output of this amplifier is DSP controlled. So we can send the signals we want to our active sub box, meaning we can get that on the active network as well and control that. So yeah, that'll be going in, that'll be going in next to the subwoofer enclosure. So that will sit here 
So we need to make a plate for this, sit the amp there. You can probably see the looms are already in the car, in the quarter there. You can't really see them, but they are in there. Um, and then we make a, a, a trim panel to cover the, the whole lot. I don't know if we're going to mount this upside down and load it and then open the front up or, or not yet. We'll get round to that on Monday. So yeah, um, here are what Jamie's been working on. So this is the A pillars. So if I can just stand them up, you can see that, you know, he's, he's built in a swage line on each pillar, which really suits the car, really looks nice. And these tweeters, although they look odd at the moment, when they're in the car, they line up really well. So yeah, they're a custom pillar and that gets that tweeter much more pointed at you, which we call on axis. These are, these are, are, are more on axis than, than not, but they're not right in your face, you know, they're quite subtle. But they're within about 45 degrees of you in the driving position. So that's a gorgeous tweeter, that, the Melee Legend tweeter. Not loads of money either, 289. So, you know, probably, probably one of the best tweeters you can buy at, at that price point, in my opinion. So yeah, that's sort of halfway through with with this at the moment we've you know we've been on it for for a little while we had a uh, we had a shipping issue last week so we didn't receive the products for the kit for about three days you know we ordered them for an am delivery uh, certain well certain parts of it anyway so it slowed us down a little bit so we've had to focus on other things but um yeah i'm looking forward to how this one's going to come out because the car's wicked and the kit is wicked and the installation is really really good so uh yeah eyes peeled this will be a relatively short video and the next one will be a finished video and um, what i'm trying to do i you will get a lot of requests for sort of halfway through videos or build videos on how we do things um what we're not going to do it's not a tutorial channel but we can show you more of what we do when we have time to do it so uh i've snuck a, an hour in today so i can show you this one and i'm going to do a separate video on the s2000 which is much more in depth um installation than this one so yeah, this is a 991-911 Carrera T. Having a great sound system upgrade. So yeah, eyes peeled. Anything else you want to know in the comments below. And I'll leave a load of links in there for the products we're using as well um, for more information on it. Alright, you take it easy guys. I'm Carl, it's a studio in car.